I've been training retrievers as a professional for 22 years. I started it as a hobby and decided that's what I wanted to do to make a living, and, and I've been able to do it for the last 22 years. And he's a six-year-old black male Labrador retriever. I've had him in training for approximately three years. I shouldn't say this. You're not supposed to fall in love with him, but he's a neat dog. Uh, you know, he's a maniac out here in the kennel. He's in the kennel. He never has a problem with another dog. He just wants to get up there and do it. And, uh, and once they get here and learn they can do it, there's no stopping it. Sam's owner right there, Jane Doolittle, watching with great interest at this final run of the day. Richard McDonald and Sam, 24 faults is the magic number. If they can get in under that, they win the gold. First mark came out on the left. Mark number two. No, no, here, 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 here. Setting for the blind. Back. If you remember, Jay Paul did it in five whistles. So 10 points. 10 points. Initial lines are about the same. This is where, that's exactly where Jay Paul had to get a cast. And it's the same place Richard did it, but Richard got the cast he wanted. He got that angle. In great shape. One more whistle should do it on the blind. Bingo, here we go. He's two points, or excuse me, two whistles ahead of Jay Paul at this point. Jay Paul had 10 coming out of the blind, he has six. Here comes a diversion. Don't switch. Bring the blind home first. Great shape. Sam. Three birds left. Two birds left. Going pretty fast here. I'm telling you. Too fast for J. Paul Jackson, I'll tell you for sure. Sam. Strong line to bird number two. Negotiate those decoys. He knows where he's going, Tommy. So he marked it, I'd say he did. Like he put it out there himself. One bird to go. 20 faults to burn. They're in good position right now for the gold. Sam! Showing great memory. Lined up on it perfectly. Got a great line. Oh, this could be it. He's in great shape. One little body of water. And... Pow! Forget about it, baby. Woo! We got our gold medal winners, Richard McDonald and Sam, are the crown champions of the Max Super Retriever Series. Well, I just felt like, you know, Jay Paul and Achilles had a good run, but I knew he left some room, and I had enough dog to, uh, to pull it off, and, and Sam did his part. No doubt in my mind, and he proved it here in these four series, he's got as much talent as any dog in the country. In the next two or three years, he should be really in his prime. This is, is important to me, and I know I'm as proud of Sam and as happy as, as anyone that won a national opener or a national amateur. I mean, I feel like this is my sport now, this is what I do, and this is the pinnacle of our sport, and I was successful like a battle top this year. Well, for the next year, the bragging rights for the Super Retriever Series go to that man right there, Richard McDonald and his dog, Sam. The silver medalist, J. Paul Jackson and Achilles. The bronze medalists in the Retriever Trials, Chris Aiken and Boomer. Congratulations also to Jason Butler and Sly. They were the gold medalists in the Ducks Unlimited Big Air Competition. Silver to Mike McWilliams and Coco and the bronze to Mike Jackson and Little Morgan. What a day it has been. Great crowds have hung with us all day here in Hot Springs National Park. Tommy, it's been absolutely incredible. The infield here is as fine a place for a retriever being as there is in the country. I was just proud to be here to watch it. Oh, it was some spectacle. Congratulations again to all our champions. Thank you for joining us today for the Max Super Retriever Series Crown Championship. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPNOutdoors.com.